Hello, Pastor Doug back again with another Bible brief. Today I want to take a look at Genesis chapter 28 verse 17. In this chapter we hear that Jacob wrestles with an angel or a messenger of God or someone who represents God and it's a climactic wrestling match and then after the match he falls asleep and we read in the verse before 17 that Jacob says surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it and then for our text today in verse 17 which is extraordinary it reads he was afraid and said how awesome is this place this is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven at this place Jacob encounters God and not just that he associates this is where God dwells in unique and special way that this is the house of God and he calls it also the gate of heaven the place on the earth back then where you approached God and Jacob named this place we read at towards the end of the text he called the place Bethel which literally means the house of God and when we read throughout the Old Testament God dwells with his people in certain geographic locations you can actually go to a place and there God dwells in a unique and special way we read of course in Bethel and then if you continue reading as you get into Exodus we read of the mountain of God Mount Sinai or Horeb same place where of course God gives the Ten Commandments and then God goes with his people and travels with them and he travels within the Ark of the Covenant that's where he go, would go and meet with his people, and the ark would be placed in the tabernacle, this portable tent. And finally, we get the ark of the covenant comes to rest in the temple, and the temple is made in Zion, in Jerusalem. So throughout the Old Testament, we read that God dwells with his people in a special way, in a special location. Well, how about the New Testament? How about the New Covenant? When we turn to the Gospels, read in John chapter 10, verse 9, the Lord Jesus Christ says, I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved, and he will go in and out and find pasture. So Jesus Christ is the gate of heaven. We approach God. We approach the Father. We approach the household of God where Christ is, because, of course, Christ is the second person of the Trinity. He is the Word of God incarnate. And so Jesus Christ is how we enter into God. But more than that, we read in the book of Ephesians, and he put all things in subjugation under his feet and gave him as head over to all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all and all. So where do we find Jesus Christ in this world? We find him in his church. And you only find Christ in his church. So if you want to know where is the gate of heaven, heaven if you want to know where is the household of God where can you go and encounter God you go to the church not the building necessarily but you go to that place where the saints assemble where the word is preached or the sacraments are administered there you will find the house of God and there you'll find the gate of heaven well I hope that helps and as always, Christ's grace be with you all. Amen.